Still does. Still goes to your waist. Still does. That's fine. I don't care. Yeah. Isn't that a crazy, crazy angle? angle? Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is my husband. Warren. <laughs> I don't think we've ever opened a video together, have we? Oh, sure we have. When? When we do the uh, uh, question and answer. Oh, you're right. Videos. You're right. Q and A's, we do that together. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, we are starting a new meal plan this week and I actually kind of cornered him in the car so he couldn't get away and I said all right what are some meals that you would like you guys have seen that we did Peter's meal plan and then we did Maria's meal plan she had help from Sam and Peter of course she couldn't come up with a full week so a full week of meals that she thought would be could. she could but she just didn't think that they would necessarily all be supper worthy right so anyway uh, I cornered Warren. It was his turn. So tonight we are starting with his meal plan and we are doing burgers on the Blackstone. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, like, that's it. That's it. That's it. Burgers on the Blackstone. With I mean, sides. I mean, Tomatoes, it, pickles, cheese, lettuce. Burger toppings. Burger toppings. Yeah. I have not done the grocery shopping for his meal plan yet. Uh, I probably don't need a whole lot, but today what I did is just make hamburger buns. This is the recipe in, that's cookbook number two on page, what does that say? Does that say 57? <laughs> so this is the soft sandwich buns recipe on page 37 of um, my cookbook volume two. And it's only supposed to make 18. I think I rolled it out or padded it out a little bit thin, so we got a lot of hamburger buns. I think a few have already been eaten when they first came out warm with butter. I just sliced these up and, like I said, see they're a little flat, but I mean, really, who needs all of the bun anyway? Warren did the burgers on the Blackstone. They are underneath there. Yum. Ooh, they're nice and hot. And then I just put together all kinds of toppings here. We had some leftover onion from breakfast and we have our garden tomatoes, patio pots is what they are, mm. tomatoes. And then I just slice up a jar of my homemade pickles and we just kind of keep them in the fridge. And then whenever we are having burgers or something, we can just top them with that. So that is supper here tonight. Well, good morning. I feel so much better. I actually took a shower and blow dried my hair today. Yesterday, all day long, I was like, oh, once I get the kids settled with some school, I'm gonna go take a shower. Oh, once I get this done, I'm gonna go take a shower. And then pretty soon, it was this morning, and finally, I did that. So, I feel a lot better. Let me just um, give this shirt a little shout out here. I just got this from Amazon. I think it was $19.99, and I believe when I ordered it, there was like a, 4% off coupon or something like that they were having. Oh, you're hearing all my meat sizzling, aren't you guys? Uh, but anyway, this top, I absolutely love it. It's a little, I would call this like semi-fitted. I mean, it's not super, super loose, but it's not skin tight either. I got it in a large, but what I love about it is this collar. I like things that look a little bit dressier, um, but I don't always like a fold-over collar. I just don't always feel like I look good in that style of collar. Uh, anyway, this has this like kind of whatever this collar is, and then this little bit of a V right here, but it's a nice tight V. So it doesn't, it's not like your whole, you know, your whole neck and chest is all, all open because I get kind of cold sometimes too. So anyway, I absolutely love this. It came in a few colors, like other striped colors, and I searched for a solid because I thought, oh, how nice it would be to have this in just a white. There's some better lighting for you guys, in just a solid white or even a couple of like fall colors. All right, they didn't have it. They had, I think, black and white striped, gray and white stripes, some different stripes. Maria's working at cleaning her room. I actually put that on her school list for today. <laughs> Clean your room. I'll link it if you guys are looking. I got this in a large, did I say that? And I would say it's like semi-fitted. And it's not any too long either. And I think I have a pretty short torso. It's not super long on me. So like if you're really tall or real long, you might want to size up in this. And for, for me at 5'3", the sleeves fit great. They're tight enough that I can pull them up so when I'm cooking, they're not getting in my way. We are continuing with Warren's meal plan today. I am getting the chili going. Is that hot? Ooh. 
I am getting the chili going. I took out three pounds of ground beef from the freezer this morning and I just set it on the, in the sink. It's been a couple of hours and it's still pretty frozen, but I'm just gonna kind of babysit it here in the, and keep scraping it so that I can get that cooked. Oh, and the bread. So last night, and you know what I remembered this morning is that I was actually gonna have Maria you make the zucchini chocolate chip muffins out of this, but I think the day just got busy and we did a lot of school yesterday and so the kids were busy with that too. And then in full disclosure, they were a little naughty and so I assigned them a little bit of extra school work because they were not being very diligent with getting their original work that I scheduled getting it completed. So they had to do some extra, like an extra worksheet. Here's the bread, zucchini, cranberry bread. It is so good. It's got just a hint of nutmeg, which is just enough. Sometimes nutmeg can get a little overpowering, but this, this was just, it is, it is just so good. It's in, it's in one of my cookbooks, right? It is in cookbook number one. So you know it's one of our favorites because it made it in on the first round of 150 recipes. <laughs> um, this one I think I'm going to slice and take. We have homeschool co-op today and I thought that might be kind of nice to just slice and put out uh, in the, like in the mom's room. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I just am. minutes before we have to leave for co-op the chili is all done and it got me thinking I would love to know what in your house you seem to make a lot of like you guys know if I ask Warren he is going to say chili like nine times out of ten probably nine and a half times out of ten he's gonna ask for chili so uh, what is it in your house that if you asked, I don't know, your husband, your wife, your kids, what is it that they would want that you feel like anyway that you are making all the time? Like I feel, I know I don't make chili all the time, but it feels like I do. I like chili, but it wouldn't be the thing that I would say, oh my gosh, I want that every single time. So anyway, what is it in your house? We just got home from co-op, from homeschool co-op. And I thought that I would do a little unboxing here because we got some Happy Meal. Happy Meal, we did not get a Happy Meal. We got some Happy Mail, at least Happy Mail to me. I, I do like to buy clothes. I mean, I just have to, like, I have to admit that, right? <laughs> Don't they always say you have to admit that you have a problem before you can fix it? Let's just go through this. You see, it looks a little different in here. We're trying a little different arrangement of um, the big sectional that we had in here, we actually took it apart and put it like facing one another. So we kind of have like a couch with two open sides. I don't know. We're just trying it, trying to figure out, you know, as the family changes and the number of people are home and just like our needs kind of change a little bit too. So we're just trying something different. We have the futon is over here. We're just not sure if we're going to keep it. It's hard to get rid of it though, because we did get that probably in like, I would say we had to have gotten that in 1999, somewhere around in there. I mean, Emily and Nick were very tiny, 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 tiny little babies and um, little toddlers. Okay, anyway, let's unpack this. I started to take the stuff out. I'm like, you know what? Maybe you guys would like to do that with me. And also in here is going to be my uh, sourdough kit that I bought. So I'm actually very excited to see that. Well, let's get that out first. It is a bread proofing basket set. So Sheeta actually sent me an email. She knows that I'm doing sourdough stuff and um, I hadn't bought the proofing baskets or you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, this was a really good price. I got it for under $13. Amazon had like one of their lightning deals. We have a Danish whisk, which I actually bought one or either early in the summer or even last spring. I think it was probably last spring. Oh 
boy. And then it came with a bread lame and blade. It's got a wooden handle. And there's going to be the blade. Okay, so here is a little leather pouch to cover it. There are a whole set of blades in here. One looks like five blades. or there might... There's actually two bowl covers, which I have a bowl cover. But this is what I was looking forward to, were the proofing baskets. When I saw these, I always... I didn't realize that these were like firm. I thought they would be flexible, but they're not. So two sizes, two round uh, bread proofers. Awesome. Wow, that is really nice. I, this is going to help. <laughs> this is going to up my sourdough game, I feel like. And this especially is going to be a good tool, tool because my scoring was, wasn't, just wasn't very good. I had a like white one exactly like this, and I really, really liked it. I should have gotten another white one because I really do need a white short sleeve shirt. I don't have anything like that, but I got it in green because I just love this color green. Going for more fall color, I have a dress from this company. This is Sam Peel, and I have a dress that's this exact same fabric, uh, but it's green. It's like this other color green shirt, and I really like the feel of it. And so I got the long sleeve I see it has a straight hem. Let me see that actually. Oh, it's kind of almost like a sweatshirt hem. That should be cute here for fall. I got a white sweatshirt. Got a little, um, a little like pleat detail. This feels like it's gonna get dirty fast. But what I liked about this sweatshirt is it has the shorter hemline. It's not quite so long. Sometimes, like with my shorter torso, I don't know, long stuff just, it's just too long. This is a pant suit in this camel, camel color. It has this kind of a mock neck. I guess I'd call this a slight mock turtleneck. If the crotch actually fits where my crotch is, it looks like the length is gonna be okay. So I'm excited to try this on. I haven't taken this all the way out. I feel like I'm gonna be sending this back. It's like an ombre. So it starts lighter purple and goes, you guys let me know. I've got pretty good lighting here right now. Let me know. I mean, I don't know. And these are a pair of pants. And I just don't wear this kind of thing very often at all. It's usually dresses or jeans. I just see people in stuff like this and they look so cute and sporty. But I thought it'd be kind of cute. I was actually thinking this with that white sweatshirt for kind of a little bit of a pulled together yet kind of sporty look. I did want to try a couple pairs of jeans. So I got this black jean. I don't have a black jean at all right now. Okay. All right. It's supposed to be a high rise. It's got two buttons, a zipper. I feel like they're going to fit. Maybe they're going to be a little short though for like fall unless I wore them like with a Maybe I was thinking I was gonna wear them with some sort of boot. And then one last thing here. This is it guys, this is the last. The brand is Side Feel. Same brand, both pairs of jeans, same brand. But these are supposed to be more of a wide cut, a wide leg, see the leg? We'll see. Again, I'm not sure if this is always, I feel like I do look a little bit better in like a boot cut. So we'll see. One thing I find with a lot of white jeans, because I've been trying to find like a pair of white jeans. I've tried on a number of them over the years, like probably over the last two years. It all still seems like see-through. I'm like, how do these people wear white? I see people in white jeans all the time and theirs aren't see-through. How come everything I try on seems see-through? I don't know. At some point here, I will try these things on. If you're interested in any of these things, I do put links in the description box below so you guys can go and check them out for yourself if you're interested in any of the stuff that I bought from Amazon. I love shopping at Amazon because they have pretty simple uh, returns, although we don't have a UPS store locally anymore. Still hasn't been too big of a deal. I can just take it to a different store, but I have to package it. If you have a, a UPS store, uh, or I've heard people talk about Kohl's too, and I don't know if you have to package it to take it to Kohl's, 
but still, that's still a distance of a drive for me. Oh, I wanted to give you guys this tip. So when you are shopping at Amazon, really anything, not just clothing, but anything, I like to put the stuff in my cart that I'm really eyeing, that I'm like just not quite sure if I'm ready to uh, buy it yet, because then, and even if I put it into my saved cart, because you know you need to make another purchase and you don't wanna buy everything in your cart, you save it for later. Well, when you go on to your cart, it will pop up if things have gone down in price or have gone up in price. So sometimes I do that just to watch something. I think it actually might've been these pants. I had had these pants, these camel pants here. I had them in my cart for a while because uh, I think they were kind of expensive. When I logged on the one time, they had dropped in price by $9. I was like, okay, now I think I'm ready to actually make the purchase. And so I would do that a lot. And sometimes I see things just keep going up in price. I'm like, oh, I should have got it when it was the cheapest, but I just delete it out of my cart and just move on with life. Supper is all done. We had the chili and bread and crackers and mm, it was just so good. It's kind of cold out here right now. I would say it's got to be under 60. I was just noticing how vibrant these are. They're just so pretty right now. And the tomato plants are definitely deciding that they're going to be giving up. I better take this tomato in. There's not much good out that's going to come out of that tomato. And then I'll take this one in. And I think that's it for right now. And I just heard Warren start up the truck, which means he's waiting for me. We're going to go and check water. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, isn't it? Oh. So we're just going to go and check water. Oh, I am tired. Warren picked yes. up pipe all day long. Picked up trash, picked up pipe. Yep. Is Joe wanting to come with us? Where is he oh. going? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Is he hiding out? Do you want to go with us? Do you want to sit on the back of the truck? Yeah. Just drop the tailgate. What's that white laundry basket from? That had all the screens in it mm. that I use for screening the pipe. I see. And you raked a ditch edge today too. On, two, on six acres. Yeah, wow. It's been a long day, and it's not ending. Not quite yet. Well, it still won't end, because I'm going to have to get up in the night and keep on in the flood. Mm, that's true. And is it going to freeze tonight? It's supposed to. Uh -huh. So, there's that. <laughs> so, i got to watch frost. And then, even if it doesn't freeze, um, I have to irrigate in the morning. Okay. So, so that'll still be up early. It'll still be up early. So when he says he's just checking on the flood and the water and everything, we were just checking the main reservoir, making sure that the water was flowing properly as the, or the way he wants it into this flooding ditch. Are you going to pull boards or are you going to put boards in? Neither. What? Neither. I just wondered if you were pulling or putting in. I'm just see, stacking am, them neatly. I'm trying to keep this bed sealed off because we won't flood this bed till Saturday. So I'm just making sure that I have a good seal. So he's kind of kind of pushes the boards tight, and then the one that's sticking up, that one right there that's sticking up, that he kind of jams down in there to give it a nice tight fit. You can see the ditch edge is raked. Water's coming up. I need a little more water before it's raking level. I did not get the pipe out of this bed today. Mm -hmm. That'll be tomorrow morning. Okay. Because I have to rake these three beds tomorrow so that we're ready to pick up on them um, Thursday. Okay. I got this pipe out of the bed just laying on the dike, so I got to hook it all up on the dike yet. Mm -hmm. And this bed is all ready to go. Pipe's picked up. It's got a raking flood on it. So this one will get raked first tomorrow. I just heard Joe tell Warren that it's cold. Are you going to come on in? Yeah. Because you're cold? Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold, huh? Burr. Burr. Okay, we'll figure out a way. 
I've just been printing a whole bunch of stuff here. It's uh, it's 7.30, so I guess it feels late because it's just getting so dark right now, you know, or it's getting dark so fast. Um, it really isn't that late. We're actually going to be turning on the debate. The vice presidential debate is going to be tonight at 8 o'clock central time, so in about 25 minutes. I was actually, during the Packer game, I was going to make some of the mozzarella sticks. The kids were asking for those because we still haven't cracked into that box. Um, and then we just got... I guess, I don't know, we just kind of forgot. And so anyway, I thought, well, maybe while we're watching the debate tonight, we'll have some mozzarella sticks. But I just spent probably the last hour printing stuff for Joe. So we use So Happy to Learn, and that's the So Happy to Learn logo. And it is put together by a woman named Mrs. Brown. Let me show you a picture of Mrs. Brown. Oh, that's an older picture of her. But anyway, that's Mrs. Brown. And she has different levels. She has beginner, level one, and level two. And this one, I actually print, printed the beginner uh, because it did have some kind of like Halloween stuff. And I thought Joe would like all the little costumes and everything. So this, this is going to be good. I mean, ghost and lantern are going to be fairly new words. And then we've got some just general counting and things like that. So this will be kind of just an easy one for him. I did print off the level ones, but then I also printed the level twos. I don't always print the level two. They have a lot of free writing in them. And he, I, I try to get him to do that, but he's just not super fond of it. Uh, this one is about manners, and then they're supposed to write five sentences. So this is gonna be really, that's going to be really hard. Um, it's going to take a lot of effort from him and from me. So anyway, but I she has all her happy sheet books. So I printed all of those. I printed some new books for him as well. This was an old one of hers. And it looks pretty simple, but it does have a few new words in here. Lots of girls' names. Um, we have some of the typical words that she uses squirrel but we have some names of kids and i think joe's gonna like that he always loves the ones where they um, show other kids with down syndrome some of mrs brown's students and i printed off the i like book this one is going to be simple for him too but just something a little different sometimes he likes to just sit down and read these when i'm working um, with Peter Maria on other things and if it's easy he will just do it whereas if he if it's too hard he'll get frustrated and he'll just go hmm and he'll just keep doing that until I answer him with whatever the word is that he's struggling with so I do like to have some of these printed so that he can just read them all by himself and he can be completely um, what would be the word? He can be, he can excel at it, you know, without needing me all the time. Because I think he probably gets tired of needing help with everything. So then I also printed off this lion book, The Lion Boy and Friends. And this one looked like it would be a good one too. There were a few new words in here. Um, yeah, we had words like missing and introduce. Some of those seemed like some new words to him. So anyway, just spent a long time printing. So that's the one thing. If you are going to be using uh, So Happy to Learn, there's a lot of printing. A lot, a lot. And with that, I am going to close out tonight's video. I have to get some, some people cycling through the shower and, like I said, make some mozzarella sticks for a little evening snack for everybody. And that is going to be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night, whatever it happens to be for you.